now, Buck. Come here, good night. Come here. Come here. Uh, if you work hard, then it pays off later on. Veronica Ravina is reminded of this invaluable life lesson every time she gives her puppy Malbec a cuddle. Since I was six, I wanted the dog. He likes playing, cuddling, everything but walking in the rain. It's one thing to want a dog, it's another thing to earn it. So Veronica went to work making her own chocolates to sell at Bratz Biz, a yearly craft fair designed to fuel the entrepreneurial spirit of young artisans. Her sweet business is called VR Chocolates. Well, we've done it a couple years before and it was fun to do it. So when we started making chocolates for us, we thought we'd give it a try. Well, we sold everything. Veronica's earnings went into Chocolate's perfect pairing, Malbec, her little Boston Terrier, who isn't allowed in the kitchen when production is underway in the Ravina family kitchen in Whistler. Hi, We're going to make chocolate-covered marshmallows and caramel-filled chocolates and I think chocolate-covered Oreos. The hardest to make are the filled because you have to cover them in chocolate and then you have to get rid of the chocolate inside and then let them dry and fill them, let them dry and then cover them up again and let them dry. Temperature, moldings, fillings. Veronica and Amy command the kitchen confidently together. What mountains are to Whistler, chocolate is to this family who originates from Argentina. In uh, our culture, uh, the chocolate is, is really important. We grown up around chocolate. We usually have uh, chocolate with everything, like chocolate with dulce de leche and chocolate cakes and chocolate cookies. So, yeah, chocolate is some, it's natural for us. It's part of our life. Mom Amy believes Bratz Biz has been a great experience for Veronica. The two will be busy twisting and turning chocolate once again at this year's event, December 3rd, at Worcester Secondary School. She learned a lot about um, all the process and how to, you have to measure um, the cost and uh, how much are you going to sell your things. It was really good for her, she had to balance other stuff. Passion drives what Veronica does. I like chocolate too much. <laughs> I guess because there's so many different ways you can have it. So you never get bored of the flavor. You want to try and one? And neither do oh, her sure friends, who are only too happy to help Veronica's business along. My friends do quality control <laughs> and say what kinds they like, what they don't like. And today's taste test is looking happy for both chocolate lover and chocolatier. From Whistler, I'm Nicole Fitzgerald for The Express.